So we've made the dinner. Mm. Let's see what the table looks like. It's yes. Leanna Lair Perot with a beautiful table. Thank you. I'm coming to your Easter dinner, honey. It's Easter. This is so fun. But you know what? Easter can kind of, it can get very campy. So it, it I, what can. I think is nice about this is that it, it, it's a very classy table. It's lovely and sophisticated. Doing theme tables, there's definitely a line that you right. need to draw. And a lot of people do pass it because, let's be honest, like having a holiday is a, is a good reason to entertain. Right. So people go out and they load up on all the little bits and bobs for the table. I prefer, and I would suggest that people pick a theme. So Easter, yes, is a theme, but pick an element yeah. and then kind of run with that. So for me, East, I love Easter because it's springtime, right? Absolutely. And everybody gets so excited about having fresh colors, fresh it's greenery. So, so I try to incorporate as much of that as possible. But the other thing is when you're decorating for the holidays, it's easy to buy all those things and spend a lot of money. That's I true. spent very little. In fact, I went to the garden center mm -hmm. and I went to the dollar store for this entire table. Good stuff. And probably $25 outside of the dishware that I already owned. Right. All in for just just the little accessory items. And it really doesn't have to cost a lot. Use the dishware you have. Use the dishware you have. What you I really love doing. I, I did pick up some great dishware from IKEA. Classic, uh, simple white plates. Right. You cannot go wrong if you start every seasonal table with a classic white plate. No matter how expensive it is or how affordable it is, that gives you a great basis to then start adding on other elements. Yeah. And what I really like to do is mix my classic, or rather mix my modern pieces with something a little more classic. I have my grandmother's silverware that oh, I mixed in. So, nice. so I don't go all the way modern or all the way traditional. I like yeah. to mix it up. And then with this table in particular, because it's spring, we're opening our windows, we're opening the doors, letting the fresh air in. I wanted to bring the garden inside well as I much think as the possible. runner is an, an amazing so, idea so this what is this this is these little guys that I found at the dollar store they're just oh. little squares and funny enough I've seen them there That's for a so couple cool. of years and I thought what the heck would you do with those and then all of a sudden I was like well, table runner it just yeah. dawned on me um, if you're doing a nice little breakfast or croissants in the yeah. morning um, putting on like you know your little pastries on this almost use it as a charger also works really nicely as well that is a very good idea six, I love it so you put a whole bunch of these together I put then them all together to the and runner. because they're nice and green you can kind of mix them so you don't really see the edge there right the little eggs again from the dollar store. Um, just little, these aren't the candy ones. Be I know, careful. I already <laughs> they checked. look like them. A little dessert on there. <laughs> I was going to pop those in my mouth your immediately. Exactly. Okay, can we talk about these? Little yes, things? okay, I have to say I'm obsessed Get a shot with these. Of this, Ozzy, because <laughs> I'm this obsessed. is. Were, did, was this like very, very delicate no, for you? This honestly, is an eggshell. It okay, was so she put easy some to do. Soil in there. This and planted a little something something. Exactly, just some that little so succulents cute. or as you have the African violets there. Mm -hmm. So easy to do if you're preparing Easter breakfast, don't get rid of the eggshells. Crack them as yeah. smoothly as you can along the top. I just took a knife, easily crack them, yes. put all of the, the egg and the egg white, the yolk and the egg white into a container to cook later and then just add in a little bit of soil, drop in your succulent and if you notice too, if I come around front here, I yeah. have little silver goblets. I put in a little bit of moss and I just dropped oh, a tea light in that them. Oh, so cute. So the tea lights actually fit perfect in the jumbo size white eggs you just want to make sure that you take the tea light out of the metal surround right and they drop right in a nice little added touch so if you don't have egg cups if you're not a hard-boiled egg fan yeah just use a goblet but fill it with some moss just to keep it nice and sturdy in there what a great idea okay so the other thing that I really love about this is you know what everybody gets on their plate yeah got a bulb in there this is the little takeaway for all that. of your guests if they come this is a hyacinth bulb but if you notice what I put it in I just fell in love with these as well for Michael's little cupcake Cute. holders with the little the kind of petal cut out on there in the grass. These just came from the dollar store, a set of three for $2. Okay. And it just makes it nice and sturdy, a takeaway for all of your guests. So it can be really, really simple. You don't have to go overboard. Yeah. Just keeping things clean, fresh, sophisticated for Easter. And then really, you can build on this and take this seasonally. Now this, uh, I like the fact that you use, so this is like a, a, a cake plate or Two a, cake plates. Two cake plates, you put them together. Put them, just I just put stack them on top of there. each other. Again, put a little bit dollar store greenery. Um, a vintage little silver bud vase on top that I had from my mom. Thank right. you very much, mom. I get lots of goodies from her. And then, <laughs> and then just do some you fresh return flowers. Them? Not always. Okay. No. That's but how it is with us too. Yeah, I know, right? They well, they come, over, they come over and enjoy it at our house, That's right? right. <laughs> That's the way it kind of goes now. Um, and then last but not least, and this is just a little sneak peek Love to what this. we're going to talk about later. This costs no money. You take your simple white napkins and you can fold them into this really cute bunny. And for the kids' table, have some fun with it. Just throw a couple of raisins down beside it. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> you're such a you're a fun mom, and that's what I love about you. Okay, so these they look so innocuous, but later on in the show, 
I'm gonna try and make one. We're gonna try. And let's try and get the chefs to make them too. Uh, that's Shall a good we? plan. We'll yes, try. Yes, because they can cook, but can they make a bunny napkin? I don't know. <laughs> that's all coming up. Stay with us. More coming up on The Three Chefs. They're so cute. Who taught you this?